Hello there. I want to introduce to you Phoebe Novakovic. She is said to be one of the 25 most influential ladies on earth. She made her career in the CIA before moving on to a US-based company named General Dynamics in 2001. Why is she of any significance, you may ask? She is because she is the head of Di General Dynamics, and General Dynamics is one of the biggest names in the defense industry. The company is famous for their top-notch submarines and more so for their long tradition of Abrams tanks and F-16 fighter jets. So Phoebe, how are you doing? Well, Ola, you saw what happened to the Abrams we sent to Ukraine. They were simply lined up and executed. What a humiliation! And our Abrams were taken out by missiles, even before engaging in combat. This makes me so angry. How can we continue demanding other nations to pay for our weapons if this continues? Okay, uh, but are there not supposed to be some kind of air support when tanks are moving into enemy land? Absolutely, but there was none. This is insane. I have no words for it. We are demanded to bring in the tanks. Russia cannot be, be allowed to win this war. I understand that, but to general dynamics, this destroys our reputation. Okay, uh, general dynamics is closely tied into the US government, I see, because of the contracts you get. The Biden administration demands you to pay back when needed, I suppose. You even had to have to put one of the, your dearest assets at play, your reputation. Actually, yes, the important part of the contract is not the written part. And no, there is no free enterprise in US. Without tight cooperation with the government, you are not in business. Oh. Don't you think the situation will change to the better when the F-16 fighter jets finally enter the theater? That they will bring the air support direly needed for the Abrams to succeed? The F-16s are amazing machines. But they are absent for a good reason. Like with the aircraft carriers, sadly they are all obsolete. They belonged to the previous millennium. Even with amazing 2,200 km an hour, the F-16s are sitting ducks in modern digital warfare. Like the Abrams, the F-16s will never be able to engage in battle. Somehow the Russians comfortably sit in their gaming chairs and shoot down whatever we throw at them. We send in real tanks, and they just move the joysticks and BOOM! There come the missiles at the speed of 10,000 kilometers an hour. Nothing can stop it. Without F-16s, the Abrams are without protection and will get destroyed. If we do send the F-16s, they will get wiped out too. Either way, we are doomed. Okay, the reputation of General Dynamics would be badly damaged if that was to happen, wouldn't it? You don't get it, do you? This would be the end of NATO's only real air superiority, that of the media, public relations. How would you repair such devastating blows? As Putin stated lately, German tanks burn just fine, and F-16s most likely will too. The escalation may end here, by F-16, and with it 
the war in Ukraine will come to a grinding halt. Your family came from Serbia, didn't it? The F-16 took part in the destruction of Serbia a few years before you took office at General Dynamics. You didn't care, did you? So why would you care about NATO and US? Maybe it is time to leave the sinking boat and enjoy life? With your age and paycheck, Retirement looks exciting, does it not? I would if I could. Lots of people I know of try to get out now before it is too late, which it gets by the day. But with all these years, I took advantage of the good times. Now I have to help carry through the rough times. I was part of the CIA. I'm still committed. So you have been bored? You cannot leave. Never. This goes beyond death. <laughs>